Hey guys, it's Sunday at NACC. Yes, I'm a little worse for wear, but we are here. You got your top 16 for uh, the main event going on and you still got some stuff from the DMF. So who's in the top 16? I got it right here. Really, you already know that. By the time you watch this video, you've already gone to the main site and seen that. And you know what, that works for me right now. We're gonna do a little bit of footage out here today. We're not gonna hold, do a whole bunch. We're gonna talk to some, a young man um, using, uh, doing Card Lords, a new token thing going on. Uh, might try to find a CZ employee to talk to, a player or two here and there, and then we're going to be out. We're going to wrap this sucker up. Any video that you don't see this weekend will be up in the next week. As always, love talking to you guys. Hey, last day of the Moser Report in Vegas. Let's do this. All right, but I'm still talking to this guy, so I'm not sure how that's going to work. Oh, hey, guys, we're out here with Dan Clark. Dan, good to see you. Hello, nice to have me on. Yes, yes, of course. Sir. Yeah. I think it speaks for itself right there. Yeah, that's that's where we're at. Yeah, no doubt. We are talking about Hex. It's coming. It is. It is. I got a, got a chance to play. Love it. I am not real happy with one thing, however, and I want you to know. All right, I want to hear it. I'm one and one. <laughs> Therefore, I'm not happy. I used that's to be not, That's not on me. No, it's that's not, not on, on you. Me. It's not on you, but, you know, I would like, you know, think, come on. I, I'm out here talking, doing good things for y'all. Just make it, just tweak the, you know, tweak it when other people are playing me. I don't want to win tournaments, but in casual play, maybe. I'll see I'll see if I can hack your account and just cheat for you when you get the thing. See? There you go. This is, this is what happens, when you, but not for tournaments, guys. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, how is it going, Dan? In all seriousness. It's, it's going really good. Um... With, uh, the first set is done, and we're just working on uh, getting the game together and having it the best possible thing that we can have um, for the players when it comes out in September. Nice. Um, it's going to be really good, really intuitive, easy to play with. Um, and for the first set, we wanted to make sure that uh, it was you still felt that it was you know very much a card game, and we wanted to take advantage of the digital space. So there's a lot of new, cool new stuff. But as we keep going, we're going to be able to do more and more digital stuff, and it's going to just get better and better as uh, time goes by. Oh, yeah. I, th I think the initial investment is is well worth it. I saw the original Kickstarter, and after picking myself up off the floor from the video that Corey did, I was like, all right, here, take some money. <laughs> no, the, the, game's, the game's amazing. Yeah. I am, I'm very uh, proud to be a part of this uh, project. Good deal. Yeah. Good deal. Uh, what was your role? For those that may not know, what was your role in the uh, in the game? I'm a lead developer on the project, and that's uh, making sure the cards are fair and balanced and trying to figure out the, the right play patterns and have people enjoy the experience as much as possible. Um, so that's that's what lead development does. Awesome. Awesome. And you don't put any like little RP stuff in there, like we're not worried about werewolves in there, are we? I mean... Uh, I mean, uh, there's a few designs in there that are uh, werewolf-esque. <laughs> oh, gee, yeah. there's a surprise. Dan Clark and werewolf. It actually works much better in the digital space than uh, on an actual card game. So. Okay, I can see that. Yep. I can see that. Well, awesome. So, obviously, you've got this. With WoW TCG, what, what's your role there now? Well, on the WoW TCG, uh, I'm a developer with uh, Phil Cape. Okay. And we've got the next set coming out that we put a lot of work into, and I uh, also co-designed that with Matt Dunn. Okay. And the set is looking really good. I'm really happy with it, and uh, I'm super excited to see uh, players' reactions when they get their hands on it. Nice. A lot and of cool stuff going on in that's there. That's Rain of Fire, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And that's, uh, I think Corey said July 23rd we're going to have yep. that as a release? I was I was always a huge fan of uh, Warcraft 3, and so when we, when we were doing that stuff, I was just like, yeah, I want to get in on this. I want to... I wanna, Nice. Hit the ground floor and get as many of the Warcraft 3 stuff as I can get into the game and uh, give that a try. Awesome. There you go, guys. Horse's mouth. We're hearing it. Dan, great to talk to you. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Guys, it's Hex and a little WoW TCG right here at NACC. Who would have thought? All right, guys. Um, I grabbed a couple of Boise folks, and I wanted to talk to them about their weekend because we're wrapping up. Things are slowing down here at NACC, and we need to know how people enjoyed the show. AKA the tournament. Guys, Sean, Ryan, how'd it go this weekend? Went great. Yeah. Went great. I mean day two, my first big of like the first time I've ever day two a big event. So Yes sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's cool. awesome. Yeah. And uh, I mean, had a great time. We had uh, somebody day two DMF, one of our local players. So nice. Christian Bentley. Yeah, yeah, big times Christian. So yeah. 
Um, it was what four of us actually day two the main event. Yeah, I was the only was... one of the players that came down from Idaho that did not day two the main event. Took one of four. It was close. all right. What? Whatever. It was, it was fine. Not close. You let yeah. Ollie in. Come on, everybody. Knows. I let Ollie in. Exactly. Everybody knows Come on. Yeah. Ollie in. Yeah. Ollie's cool. a good guy. No. No. Had a great had a great time. Um, best part of the weekend. Um, I don't know. Ch- what chicken was the dancing, 180 we, time we walker did, grunts. We we did play 180 time walker grunts in the three deck team event, so that yeah. was fun. And no. we we might have beat someone that is in this conversation. Maybe not. Oh, I, don't I, I don't quite think beat is the right word. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah, yeah. very very good time. We I had, think the uh, words prison and rape come <laughs> come to mind. Yeah, yeah. Right. That event was awesome. <laughs> uh, we played. Me and Sean just played the classic side event for the hell of it. It was. Uh, it was, <laughs> don't ever do that. It was good. It was good. I almost got to play against the Nixia, you almost. know, during the event. They, yeah. they didn't have the deck that they could loan us, unfortunately, because the player didn't actually have one with him. So. Isn't it like a DQ? Really? Somebody plays, press door, doesn't have the Nixia to back should. it up. It, it should be. You know, <laughs> yeah, it should be. But it was fun. It was fun regardless. I'll so, get with other yeah. rules team on that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> yes. um, no, great weekend. Super, awesome. super had a great time. Yep. And, uh, you know, everybody did well. People seemed like they were having a good time. Like, talked to a lot of other players all oh, weekend yeah. long and stuff. So, yeah, it's really, really fun. Good deal. Good yep. deal. All right, guys, you heard it. Two wackos. They still had a good time out here in Vegas for the weekend. Chicken dancing. I don't, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> We are down here. I got a little community spotlight I wanna I wanna focus on real quick. I got Tucker Smeetis out here, and uh, he's doing a little thing called Card Lords. And uh, first of all, Tucker, nice to see you. How's I it think going? I've seen you around at other events here and there. Past few um, years, definitely. Yeah, haven't haven't really talked much, but uh, wanted saw what you were doing here, and I'm gonna let you tell the audience what that is, if you would, sir. Absolutely. Well, as everybody knows right now, there's a lot of tokens around in the game, and we needed some real official looking tokens that you could actually use and be proud of. Right. Right off the bat, we started off with Gurgle Mergle since that was huge format. Yeah, absolutely. Right. The Pygmy Pyramids were the first ones that really kind of took a shine. And as soon as we brought them up to the Ashenvale Realm Championships, a lot of players up there, just immediate feedback, love them, talked about them. Right. Said, all right, what's next? So made it a little bigger, started expanding. We've got Edwin Van Cleve, the Legacy of the Legion guys, Moros. And now we've got a couple new requests. Okay, so, awesome. Officially, the next one coming out, we are going to have a Mazukon token. Very nice. It's going to be a resurrected Mazukon. Should be pretty cool. And we've also got Beast Mastery coming up soon. So oh. this will be some, some pretty popular ones people will like. But uh, the tokens themselves are custom drawn, 100% custom. We own the, op- uh, own the copyright for them. And they are not going to be reprinted or reproduced anywhere. They're official cardstock, true printing. They feel and look just like regular cards. Yeah, they really do. I mean, it's really good stuff. Gotta love it. Yeah, this is not a put it in a sleeve with a card behind it kind of token. This is sleeve your token. Absolutely. We're, we're very proud of the quality, and player feedback has been great this weekend. We've actually got a lot of, feed, a lot of good feedback, and then... Warcraft Gaming Center came over and chatted with us, so they're going to be bringing the tokens over to Europe. So all of the players out in Europe, look for them at the events coming up. That's right. Awesome. And, of course, now with them expanding for the Star City thing. Definitely. They'll be bringing them to the tournaments locally there as well. You might want to wrangle up a few new artists if they're going to be out there looking around Magic, folks. Those guys are going to want some tokens. Absolutely. We've got a couple ideas coming in already. So if anybody else happens to come up with any good ideas, shoot me an email over at cardlords.com and just let us know. All right, yeah, cardlords.com. Guys, these are amazing looking. Uh, Go on over, check them out. Uh, Good stuff. Another member of the community stepping up, filling a gap, and, um, you know, hope it works out for you. Tucker, awesome to get to actually sit and talk with you. I appreciate Um, it. Really great stuff. Guys, again, cardlords.com, hook hook them up or hit Warcraft and or hit Warcraft Gaming Center because they're going to have them. Bye. All right, guys, we are back. I'm, I'm talking to Mr. Antonio Batista. He came up from Mexico to come to the event and oh. to uh, hand deliver a shirt, which was very cool. But, uh, Antonio, <laughs> how was the weekend for you overall? Well, overall, it was experience-wise, yeah. great. Okay, that's fair. Great experience. Now, competitive-wise, um, let's say like went 50-50 on all events. Okay. It's not that bad. No, it's not bad. But it was good. I mean, good, it was good. A great day. And you enjoyed and had a good time. Yeah, that's the best part. Exactly. Because it is the community. It's these, 
I mean, it's win or lose. It's these wackos that are sitting at these tables that, you know, make this worth coming to. Yeah. I say it every now and then, but guys, I'm not kidding. It's because of you that I'm out here doing this. You make it worthwhile. Yeah. So, cool. And after all, I mean, I came to this event this weekend because right. of you. Oh, wow. See? Look at that. I mean, I wasn't planning to. All Had right. a quick chat with you a couple of hours. We have. Absolutely. That was Thursday, I think. Morning. I think so. And it's like, yeah, screw it. Let's go. Let's do it. Rock and roll. Yeah. And I was worth it, especially last night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Damien's party what? But, <laughs> but uh, cool. So you had a good time. Worth it. Would you make the trip again next year? I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, awesome. I'm going to do something for LA in November, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, we don't know when the new date for Worlds is. Oh, yeah. We'll and get that soon, though. It will happen when it will. It, but it will happen. There will be a World Championships. It will be in LA. And whenever it is, I'll be there. And I guess I'll be there. All right, awesome. Yeah. Guys, Mr. Antonio Batista, good I guy. Guess. Got Has to be, he got stuck talking to me and he didn't <laughs> drive himself crazy, so. I was enjoying myself to death. Ah, it's all good. Sir, good. Pleasure, good. Pleasure. pleasure to meet you this weekend. Oh yeah. For real, and uh, to hang out. Yeah. We'll be back. See ya. All right guys, real quick. These events, the big events for crypto don't happen without volunteers. Me doing coverage, doesn't happen without a volunteer. For this trip, enter Ellen, Ellen Jackson from Colorado. Now, I hope, a good friend of mine. <laughs> uh, Ellen, first of all, thank you no for problem. everything this weekend. How was the event for you? As, as the woman behind the camera, how was this event for you? Um, well, this is really my first big event. Um, so it's kind of cool to experience it from someone who knows everyone. I got to meet a lot of really cool people. Um, I got to go and do a lot of things I wouldn't have been able to do as just someone who's just kind of in the community, not the community. So right. It was really fun. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. It was a pleasure to work with you. Um, it was It was a good time. She picked up the camera quick, as, as you guys can tell, because all that footage is hers. So now you know who to blame if you don't like the footage. And we go from there. Um, Hopefully, Ellen and her fiance Ben will be doing Mozu Pro work for me at Gen Con this year as I can't make it. Uh, we're finalizing those plans now. Hopefully, we can get you guys up there and rock that out. Yep. And uh, it's been great. Again, Ellen, thank you. And we're out. Guys, it's over. NACC 2013 is nothing but a couple of side events, still a whole ton of people. A couple of side events, the main stuff is done. Who's your NACC champion? Tim Rivera. That's right. Tim was up against Matt Spradbury in the finals and he was able to take it down. Congratulations, Tim. That is awesome. Way to be, way to knock it out of the park for the home team right here in Las Vegas. Uh, not quite sure who took the DMF because uh, I'm living up to my nickname this weekend. I am scatterbrained. It's been a, a riot and I'm starting to buzz on the caffeine. But guys, it's been great giving you footage this weekend. We have had a great time. As always, thanks to Cryptozoic for uh, letting this old guy hang out and uh, shoot my mouth off all weekend and talking to me. I appreciate it. And to all the players that came by and said hi, thank you. Uh, thanks to Damien at the Metamart for uh, letting me throw some stuff on his table. That guy rocks. Talking to uh, Ray and the folks at Warcraft Gaming Center, that's always good too. Been hanging out with them. Guys, it's always been a great time. We will see you at Worlds. That is the next time you get to see me at a big event. But until then, I'm out.